What dimension is P3, the set of polynomials degree 3 or less? The dimension of Pn is equal to n plus 1, and therefore the dimension of P3 is equal to 3 plus 1 or 4. This means any basis for P3 must be a set of four polynomials. So for the next part, which of the following sets form a basis for P3? We can eliminate all of the sets that don't contain four polynomials. So for example, this first set contains one, two, three, four, five polynomials. This set cannot be a basis for P3. We can eliminate this set from consideration. Also notice how the third set only contains three polynomials, and therefore it cannot be a basis for P3. We can eliminate the third set from consideration. The remaining sets do contain four polynomials, but if we look at the set containing 2x squared, x0, and x cubed, we should be able to recognize this will not span P3. If it did span P3, all the polynomials in P3 would be linear combinations of these four polynomials. But since the constant here is zero, any linear combination of zero is still going to be zero, which eliminates this as being a possible basis for P3. All the polynomials that are linear combinations of these four polynomials will always have a zero for a sub-zero in the form of the polynomial given here above. And of course, there are polynomials where the constant is not zero. So we can also eliminate this set, but I'll go ahead and leave it in for consideration. Let's consider the set one, two x, negative three x squared, and two x cubed as a possible basis for P3. To do this, because we already know it has four polynomials, we only have to check to see if the set of polynomials is independent. If it is, and again it contains four polynomials, it would span all of P3 and be a basis. To perform the independence test, we will form the homogeneous vector equation shown here below, and if the solution is only the trivial solution, the set is independent. If it has more solutions than the trivial solution, the set is dependent and does not form a basis. And we are going to convert the polynomials to vectors, where for every polynomial, the vector is a sub zero, a one, a two, and a three, where a zero is the constant, and a one through a three are the coefficients. So considering the first set, one is the vector one, zero, 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 two x is the vector zero, two, zero, zero, negative three x squared is the vector zero, zero, negative three, zero, and 2x cubed is the vector 0, 0, 0, 2. Next, we form the homogeneous vector equation, which is the linear combinations of the given four vectors equal to the zero vector. From here, we can form an augmented matrix where the first row is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. The second row is 0, 2, 0, 0, 0. The third row is 0, 0, negative 3, 0, 0. And the fourth row is 0, 0, 0, 2, 0 which we see here on the left. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done to save time. Let's go ahead and label the columns C sub one through C sub four. Notice how there is a pivot in each of the variable columns, where row one indicates that C sub one is equal to zero, Row two indicates that C sub two is equal to zero. Row three indicates that C sub three is equal to zero. And row four indicates that C sub four is equal to zero. Notice how we only have the trivial solution, which indicates the set of vectors is independent. And because we have four vectors in the set, it also spans R four, which in our case indicates the set of polynomials is independent and spans P three, and therefore forms a basis for P three. So going back to our first slide, we can go ahead and check this set of vectors as a basis for P3. And now check the set 2x squared, x0, and x cubed, which again we know is not going to be a basis because the only constant is zero. But let's go ahead and check it anyway. First step is to form the vectors that correspond to each of the polynomials in the set, which I've already done here. Notice how zero is just a zero vector. Then we form the homogeneous vector equation. From here we can write the augmented matrix where the first row is a row of zeros. The second row is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. The third row is 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the fourth row is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 
running the matrix in reduced row echelon form, notice we only have one, two, three pivots, which indicates that C sub one, C sub two, and C sub four are basic variables, but C sub three is a free variable. Also notice how we have a row of zeros along the bottom indicating we have an infinite number of solutions, which therefore means we have more than the trivial solution to the homogeneous vector equation, and therefore the set of vectors is dependent and cannot form a basis, which indicates a set of polynomials cannot be a basis for P3. If we did want to show some extra work here though, the first row indicates that C sub one is equal to zero. The second row indicates that C sub two is equal to zero. Third row indicates that C sub four is equal to zero. C sub three is a free variable. C sub three is equal to C sub three, which means C sub three can be any real number and we still have a solution to the homogeneous vector equation which makes sense because notice how we have C sub three times zero vector. So once again, we know the set of polynomials does not form a basis for P3. We have one more set to consider, the set two X squared X negative five and two plus X cubed. Two X squared is the vector zero, zero, two, zero. X is the vector zero, one, zero, zero. Negative five is the vector negative five, zero, zero, zero and two plus x cubed is the vector two, zero, zero, one. Next, we write the homogeneous vector equation and then form the augmented matrix where the first row is zero, zero, negative five, two, zero. The second row is zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Third row is two, zero, 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 zero. And the fourth row is zero, 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 one, zero. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done, labeling the columns C sub one, through C sub four, and identifying the pivots. The number of pivots matches the number of variables, which indicates we have one solution. And because we have a column of zeros in the fifth column, we only have the trivial solution, where C sub one through C sub four are all equal to zero. So because we only have the trivial solution, the set of vectors is independent, and because we have four vectors in the set, the set spans are four, which also indicates the set of polynomials is independent and spans P3, and therefore is a basis for P3, which means of the five set of vectors, two of them are bases for P3. I hope you found this helpful.